Okay, this is going to be a quick video about the ascension process and the quantum level. It works a lot like this uh, this staircase right here. Uh, I believe this is uh, a staircase where they have uh, Michelangelo's paintings and stuff like that. And, um, but basically, it's got the hidden equation built into it. Okay, we got our central point here. And you can picture that as the Earth, okay? And then you have its orbit around there. But basically, this is the equation that binds the law of relativity to uh, quantum physics, okay? Now, the Big Bang, it did not happen. Okay, it's it's just not the way the universe was created. Okay, the universe, the stars were made one by one. Okay, with equal amount of time put into each one of them. Now the vision that I had was basically um, say you were standing from any point on the Earth from that point and you would see a star form there and then star form there on the next level star form there and it would go in that spiral let me see if I have and it goes into a spiral and ends up looking somewhat like that okay and then a planet would come, or a moon or a planet would come around with rings. Now the rings, why do planets have rings? Well, they have rings because they're getting squashed in between these different, picture these different levels of the staircase to be different dimensions. Okay, that's why they're, that's why planets have polarities, uh, north and south poles and all of that. So when that planet would come around, it would push all of those stars up to the next level. Okay? It's ascension process. Now, why don't you take a quick look at this picture from Michelangelo. And here's where we're at today, almost. Okay, it works as a fractal. This planet is going to go somewhere else completely because the time frame is going to come around and it's just going to push us right to that next level. Now here is a picture called uh, Band from Garden of Eden. Now, the way that this thing works is that somewhere else in the universe, another planet, well, it's basically Earth, another one, is going to, because the way time is works, at the same time, you go back in time and it will be just like Adam and Eve eating the apple. But since we I went through that phase, we're now at this stage because we understand how the things work. We understand science and astronomy and computers and stuff like that. So now we're not going to be banned. We're going to be pulled up. We're going to make a quantum leap. And to the untrained eye, it might look, you know, like it's just the story of Adam and Eve, but it's not.